Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. I'm showing you the two pound coins that you can find in your change that might be rare or valuable, you know, that are worth something. Um, and I can tell you that you find this amount of coins potentially out of a 500 pound bag because I've just been through a 500 pound bag and forgot to hit record. So this is the coin hunt that no one will ever see. Did find some interesting coins though, so I'll show you them before I go through another 500 pound bag, which hopefully I have pressed record this time. Uh, let me just check. Start, re start recording, yeah, we're on. And I'll also show you how many uh, I need to complete my two pound album as well. So let's go through what I found uh, last time. Loads and loads of Shakespeare's, comedies one, so loads of, loads of 2016, that stack is, that is massive. There must be 30 comedies in there, probably maybe it's about 10 or 12 of the, of the army centenaries. But enough about the Billy Basics, let's see the interesting ones. So this was an interesting find. Uh, we've seen it before at the Shakespeare skulls. No, ed no edge inscription error, but it does have some interesting bulges on the skull there. So it looks as though he's been bashed on the back of the head with a skull, uh, with a bat or something. And he's got a bit of a bump on his skull. And also this one's interesting. He's got a zit. There's, there's a zit on there, like on the side of his head. So I don't think it's valuable. It's just where that where the die's broken down when the coin's been stamped. A bit of the die's chipped off, and that little bit of chip's got caught between the die that, that the template um, as it stamps the the metal to make the coin. And it's just a little bit interesting the fact it's right on the right on the noggin there as well. So we've seen it before, but that's that's definitely a, a keeper that will be going in the in the book. So Putington has joined me in the magic studio as well. There he is. This one was a really, really nice Florence Nightingale coin, and I'll be putting this in the book because it's nice and shiny, it's in good condition, considering it's 20, 12 years old from 2010, and it's Lady M's favourite coin, so I'm keeping that one in homage to Lady M. This one is a 2014. It's got an absolutely tiny rotation error. So if you spin it round, you see the, the queen slightly just kind of going that way a little bit. No, hang on. Which way? Oh, hang on. I'll get her in the camera. She's looking. She's looking that way. Like that, I think. Anyway, um, it is ever so slight. And uh, I know it might not look it because you you, when, when it spins, you can lose a little bit of a spin of the coin. It can twist slightly in, in your finger. But... I've spun enough coins to know now that, that definitely is a rotation error, uh, albeit very, very slight. Don't think there's any real value in it. Look, the 2014 should be should be there, and it's not. So ever ever so slightly tiny little rotation error. So it's cool, so I'm keeping it. And then also I'll be keeping this one, Magna Carta, just over, or in and around a million and a half of these minted. Probably worth four or five pounds, depending on the condition. But it has got a little bit of extra jazz, a little bit of blob of metal. So again, another die chip, so the die, the stamps of coins broken down, a little bit of metal's got caught between the uh, little bit of the, of the little bit, bit of the die has been caught between the die itself and the metal which becomes the coin they got a little bit of extra splodge a little bit of extra splodge on there as well so not particularly valuable just a, just an oddity just a, just an oddity i like it so i'll be keeping them for and the uh, the rest will be going back into circulation so let me i will have to this is all from the post office and i've got another post office bag and i need to put them in the post office to avoid the banking charges so it's the we pay quite a bit in banking charges now that the free period has ended and we pay them for the 50p hunts for the two pounds i'm able to get out from the post office from my personal account thanks to number one post office lady liz so i do two pounds every now and again right so they're the ones that i'll keep them put them over there so i don't accidentally put them bag them back up and take them back to the post office so speaking of 50ps this is me 50p album i will do a 50p hunt solo hunt i think at some point but me and lady i'm just having so much fun in our our coin hunts if you haven't subscribed or you haven't seen this before this is your first video do subscribe and watch me and lady m go through 50 pences we've got our own book nice spirit competition there and i think i'm winning but anyway that's the two pound hunt but we're on we're on with two we're on two pound hunt book of the first half of it Oh, I know what I mean. Anyway, two pounds. Let's crack on. I need Wales, Commonwealth Games, Wales, Commonwealth Games, Northern Ireland. So the two, the two most expensive, the two rarest Commonwealth Games. Although I have already got two, which is a, which is a bonus in Scotland and England. I need the Rio Olympic handover and the underground train. But other than that, I'm in pretty good shape. I've got everything else. A few little, I've mentioned these. So they, they get some really cool finds out the post office. Loads of fakes, unfortunately, but also some real cool finds. This is a DNA double helix. It's, it's basically it's in the condition as though it's just been minted. So someone had broke that out of the pack and spent it. This is the Armistice coin. Again, shouldn't be in circulation, but someone has busted out and spent it. And two of the older two pound coins as well. So they're really cool. The, the one at the bottom there is a 1986 thistle for the Commonwealth Games. And that one is the UN coin, 1995. So I believe, according to Macamula coins, they are still legal tender. They've never, or 
are still still valid. You can still they were never demonetized. Um, but yeah, it's, that's awesome. So I've fallen back in love with two pound coin hunts. I did have a little bit of a little bit of a spell away from them. Ah, right here in front of me. And I'll tell you about that in a minute if I remember. So here we go. Post office bag, just in a the usual drill. I'm just getting them in a in a plaggy bag as they come. And I've just got a hope that someone's cashed them in rather than someone else has already hunted through them. But I get so much luck, or enough luck, to know that it's worth uh, it's worth doing. Right. So yes, I did fall out a little bit with two pound hunts, but mainly because of bank charges. We get charged 70 pence for every hundred pound of coins that we take in and put take take out and put back in again. So if I'm doing a thousand pounds worth of two pound coins, that will cost us seven quid. So sorry, sorry, a five hundred pound bag of two pound coins would cost us seven pound because it's it's the five hundred pound in and the five hundred pound out again. Technically, you can get charged for well. Anyway, I won't go into that. So it becomes expensive. But th thanks to number one post office lady Liz, I can draw some of these out on my personal account so I avoid the bank charges. Hence the bonus two pound hunts. Right, there's our first commemorative kicking us off with Brunel, the portrait, the man. And we're straight into a second one, which is the Marconi. Wireless communications from 2001. No hat-trick there, no hat-trick. I was hoping for three in a row, but we've got three in the same bag. I like this one. That looks like me and Laughter on a coin. I'm sure you're all subscribed to Laughter by now. He's, uh, he's really cool. But he looks like, that's him on the left and me me on the right. So I do like I do like that coin. I do like finding it. Don't find it very often. Don't keep it. It's not a keeper. Kind of keep one. Or a cut just a couple. Kind of couple for spares if you like. Let's zoom out a little bit closer. Just in, just you know, just just in case I ever ever need one. But other than that, they go back. Even though the mintage is, you know, in around the three million mark. Don't keep it. Certainly don't keep these. The Shakespeare's. That won't be the the, the last Shakespeare that I find. It certainly won't be the last Shakespeare tragedies either. I'm sure because they are plenty around in the uh, in the in the northeast. Just have a little look to see if that was a little spin there on the another 2014 coin as I found it in the in the hunt that never happened. There's a there's a comedies, put that next to there. We'll sure we'll have the hat trick very, very soon. But we've got our first plum. It is the Great Fire London. Just over 1.6 million minted. That's worth four, maybe five pounds, depending on the condition. So that is a that is a keeper, that is a plum find, and that is a that is a cracking start. I kind of see it's a bit of a sister coin, really, the, and it, even though it's got absolutely nothing to do with it. But I see that as a sister coin to the uh, Magna Carta, because they're a similar mintage. There's another Brunel portrait. Similar mintage, different year, because that's 2016, and the Magna Carta is 2015. But similar mintage. Don't find that many of them. And, uh, yeah, anyhow. So Magna Carta in the hunt that didn't exist. And now the Great Fire Lunders has a cracking start. Right, there's another really common one. I'm going to put that one down there because I'm, I'm impressed with that Charles Darwin one, Origin of the Species. I'll put it there, it's a good one. And I'll put that one up here because if it's anything like the last hunt, so if all these have come from the same person, there's going to be tons and tons of comedies and tons and tons of army centenaries. I do need to give the army centenaries a little spin because I think it was Macamula who told me I always had one that does rotate when you spin it round. So I am gonna I am gonna do that. There's a history, so there's the hat trick, all three of them coins now safely secured in this hunt. So yes, I'll have a spin of them because I do forget to spin them. And also I will be spinning any active unions. So that oh and one's coming out here. 2007 coin active union celebrating the union between Scotland and England and Deer from North East Coins. Nice guy. Local guy. North East fella. There's another plum. Excellent. The whole city in dreadful flames around the outside. And another keeper. So yes, Deer found one of these. Hang on. That way. So that way around. So says two and then 2007 and the thistle. And when he spun it, the Queen was facing the wrong way. This one is not, unfortunately, and I do quite like the I do quite like the the, the rotations. They're they're pretty they're pretty cool. There's a Richard Trevithick, just face value that one as well as the Actor Union. But nice to get a little bit of variety. So yes, if you want to check out Dave at Northeast Coins, 
so Pudrington obviously does, you will get to see the one and only time I've ever seen, oh, there's a nice bit of hair or thread there, can we see that? Probably don't want to. First time I've ever seen a rotation on an act of union. There's a the comedies. Yes, okay, Sir Poochington, thank you. Sir Poochington is at the point, or he's out in the garden. Sir Poochington's just at the point of his years where he just kind of whines for everything, unfortunately. If he's happy, if he's sad, if he's hungry, he just whines. There's another Richard Trevithick that is in nice condition, that one. Don't find it very often, actually, the Richard Trevithick, and found it in the hunt that didn't exist. That's a nice condition, one of them. But that'll always be worth two pound only, that one. Because they are nine and a half million mintage, give or take. So I can't ever see that being valuable. Unless, of course, you do get that rotation, which adds a little bit of extra to the proceedings. And we've got my tub either. Because these need to go back in the post office to avoid them bank charges I was talking about. I need to put them back into back into the bank bags to take them back to a different post office. Because I don't want to get them again, do I? There's another army centenary. See, we are, for the, the bank charges that we get charged, we are lucky that it's kind of worth it because you might, you do find the odd nice coin. Well, more than the odd nice coin. And of course, it's entertainment and maybe a nice spend time to get a film of the coin hunts. But also, you get to put them into the coin machine. So basically, you don't have to put them into a bag, you can just shot them into a tub and shot them in and it counts it for you. There is the uh, Brunel Arches, a little mini set there with the Brunel portrait, came out the same year, 2006, and uh, similar mintage. There's a horrible fake. That is the downside of getting stuff from the post office. 2011, really common year for fakes. If you haven't seen my video on fakes, do go and find that. I looked at the fakes under the microscope. But yeah, there's another two pound down the swanee because of course I can't spend it. There's another Brunel Arches. I'm sure that won't be the last Brunel that we find in this coin hunt. So if you're missing Lady M, don't worry. We are still plugging away with our 50p coin hunts. We are, uh, of course, there's another Skulls. No bump or zit on his head. So yes, we're in competition. We've got a 50 pence book each, and we're trying to see who can, well, competition, we start at the beginning of this year, but will end at the end of this year, to see who can get the most in the album. Can one of us fill it first, or who can fill it the most? I think I'm doing all right, I think I'm winning. I'm a little bit out of sync. These, these, these two pound hunts, just, I just film these as and when I can. But I still think I'm win winning, even though Lady M did find a football. She's got plenty of Olympics, I think I'm doing well. I won't give anything away in case he uploads before another one. But I think that I'm doing very well in all the other finds that I've got. But the Olympic Queen, as Lady M is, is kicking me pants when it comes to the Olympics. Lots of, uh, lots of shininess in here. Let's see if we've got some... What commemoratives we've got? Another army centenary. And again. And another comedies. And this will be another commemorative. It is. So who's gonna win this time? Is it going to be the army centenaries winning? Because in the hunt that never was, oops, it was comedy. He comes back in, it must be too hot for him outside. He's in, he's out. He shakes it all about. If you're a member of the channel, do put the Sir Poochington emoji in the chat as an honour to Sir Poochington. <laughs> Just staring into space at the minute. There's another Bruno Arches. Right, son? Yeah. Just chilling. Yeah. Are you interested in the coins? No. Okay. We've been having good fun with his duck today. He has uh, a range of kind of toys that he just chews to this. They don't last very often. But we've been kicking his duck around, haven't we? 
Old Jemima. And we had some great fun. That's where he lets me kick it. I don't know whether he's gone a bit uh, a bit deaf as well, or just insolent in his old age. But he doesn't let me throw it as often as he used to. He used to be very good, he would drop it and leave it. Whoops. So I drop and leave my coins all over the way, outside, all over the table. But these days, it's a different kettle of fish. He does what he wants. There is Charles Dickens. Another face value coin. Two pounds worth. There's one there. And another histories. Another army centenaries. Another Brunel portrait. Are you going to focus? Very bright. Forgive me if uh, if you're not seeing all of the coins. It's very bright in the magic studio, and I can't see a great deal. Just one commemorative in that bag. Got about five or six bags left to go. You have to have me press record, haven't I? Yeah. Sometimes I check in the 2L. I should check all the 2010 technologies because they have a, there's another history. They can have a, a double die obverse error. So the writing on the, on the side where it's got the date on is uh, it's like double stamped. It's, it, it overlaps. Again, it's like it's been stamped twice. That's another comedies. And it's to do with, and another one. Oh, and another Charles Dickens. And it's to do with the the die itself, the way the die was made. It's got double double duty on the die, so when the coin was minted, it double prints the date and some of the writing. Again, not sure it's valuable. There's, there will be a bit of value, value in it. Not sure when you're around. That, is, uh, that feels like a fake, that one. Yeah, I think that is. That's a fake. That's a really good. That's a really good fake. So if you have seen my fake video, you'll know that it's fake by the IRB. So that it's the the IRB is the hardest bit to um, get right at the bottom of the initials there. The Queen's portrait's not great, but first time I think I found a commemorative. And I tell you what, it's in uh, There's no rotation error either. Let's see whether the. Yeah, can you see there where that says United Under One Kingdom? So it's just slightly going to the bottom look. Should be a little bit more in the middle. You can see that it's kind of the edge should be perfect. Yeah, the kingdom, yeah, that's not particularly thingy, but that is a really good fake, that. Really good. I'll be keeping there, I'll be keeping that one. You can get fake coins from, from Wish as well. Maybe his album album fillers. I do one I do wonder how the, the counterfeiters make money. You know, I think how do they get uh, there's another Shakespeare. How do they get them into circulation in big quantities? You know how much and how much does it cost to, to run an operation of fake? Of course, you get the two pound a piece, I suppose. If you're knocking out thousands an hour, then I guess there's some money to be made. But how do, how do you get them into circulation in big enough quantities that it's, it makes any money? I don't know. There's another Brunel Arches. Two more of these. And I think the army is going to win. There are about four bags left to go. I did have a fake tragedies. I bought that off of someone on a Facebook group. I think I paid all five or six quid for it. Number 43 there. Just for a little bit, just because they're a little bit different. Oh, sorry. Have I, was I, am I zoomed in too much there? Possibly. Right, three bags left to go. Let's see what luck we can find in the last three bags. Nothing for the album as yet. 
there's the rugby 1999 rugby first commemorative coin of this type of two pounds since it was relaunched in 1997 and a bit of variety for us what have i done, have I done here why is that marconi moved around over me over me doof and dangler the rest of the way that fake as well because it weighs it's bound to weigh 12 grams if it's that good a fake the weight will be right i would imagine because that's another little telltale sign oh there's another one for me one for laughter where is it down here on the bottom yeah it's another telltale sign is the weight if it doesn't weigh 12 grams but most of them are the correct weight some of them can be magnetic as well, depending on what metal's in. I'm gonna remind me on after I've done this last bag. And I'll get the I'll get the magnet on it and see whether see whether it's magnetic. So if you're still here, appreciate you joining us or joining me. Do subscribe if you're not already and put a like on the video. Really appreciate it. Leave us something in the comments. Say members if you want to use your Sir Putington emoji, please do that. Oh. Must have, heard, must have heard me there. Right, so that is that. That's, must have knocked them over without noticing. Right, I've got a magnet behind me. Uh, we'll use, I think I use Cali Brew. Do I use Cali Brew? I've got three magnets off Caledonian coins. One for the Come Find With Me, one for Cali Brew, and also one for Califax. I'm going to use the Califax one. They're nice, big, strong magnets. No, it's not magnetic. So that is a, that is a cracking fake. I've actually got a few fakes here. So are any of these magnetic? Yep, that one is. Just, only just. They look sick into it. Actually, let's go. Let's use the come fine with me. Give Callie a double plug. Is that what I found? That's a really good, really good strong magnet, that one. There, look, there's a good example. Fake and stuck. Is this one going to stick? Definitely not. Definitely not. Right, thanks, Kelly. You can go back over there. Let's review the plums. Shoo, that fake. Oh, I didn't try that fake. Hang on. The actual second fake I found. No. Right, so we've got a fake. Whoops, got a fake. We've got two. Whoops, whoa, wrecking the place. We've got two, two of them. Two of these, keeping them two, definitely. And what do you make of this fake? It's definitely a fake, I have no doubt. It's a really good one. I mean, it's even got, it's even got the, because you see this quite a bit with this coin, where, where the stamp, you get that extra ridge there, because it doesn't quite, when it's made, it doesn't quite line up. So even that's, thanks to Poochington. So even that's quite authentic. But I'm, uh, I'm certain, I'm absolutely certain that that's fake, I can tell by the port rate tell by the IRB and I can tell by the the, the, the the edge inscription as well. So let me know what you think, right, I'm gonna do this as a thumbnail. I'm not sure what the title of the episode's gonna be. So I feel daft, Sabunchin's gone. Right, so I'm gonna do it. Let me just get me ready. What can the thumbnail be? Uh, I don't know, pull a silly face. <laughs> I don't know. Look, look suave, look cool. Say, so come and subscribe. I don't know, but anyway, that's the coin I'm gonna show. Uh, just gonna smile that'll be the thumbnail and uh thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode